Broadcasting live from upstate New York, a technology talk show that puts you and your questions first. It's Tech Talk Live. Yeah, baby, it's Tech Talk Live, coming to you live from upstate New York. I am Flipper. I am Snide. And I'm JJ. How do you like that? <laughs> How's that intro? I think that's great. That's 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 bloody great. I love it. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Tech Talk Live, first thing Saturday morning. Well, actually, it's not first thing. It's like last thing Saturday morning. <laughs> yeah, really. last thing. Right? No one is coming. Uh, um, let's see. Um, anyway, we are a Colin Technology Talk Show, broadcasting live from upstate New York. Yep, live right now. Right, yeah. right. Give us a call, 315-220-0692, or... Check us out on the web, or give us an email at techtalkliveny at gmail.com. Or you can, you, know, you can get us on Facebook. You know, look at that, facebook.com, techtalklive. Like us. Yeah, make sure you do like us. Because we like you. Uh, let's we do see. like you. We love our listeners. Yes, we yeah, do. And uh, my listeners asked me if we were going to do any more on... Puppinator, wanting to know how much. Puppinator, mu- yeah. no, we're not going back there. <laughs> wanted to know how much and all that, and I says, I don't know. I says, too bad we can't get the Puppinator here to give it a demo, you know? Right, that right, would be exactly. funny. Man, it's it here every it? time we, we're on the mics and we say pop. pop, and, pop ah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Oh, <laughs> my turn, my turn. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but Holy cow. I guess the show is going to revolve around a little 3D printing this time or this week. Oh. I've done a little research, but I've been working on my... my uh, Rental property. Rental property, and it uh, kind of hasn't worked out for me because I've been working a long time, long hours. Yeah. So, in the evening, by that time, I'm tired, and I have to take a break. <laughs> you have to take a siesta. Uh, so. he, well, he's always on siesta. What are oh. you smoking? <laughs> but anyway, I did a little research on the 3D printing, which is very, very interesting what I did review. I was going to say. How much did you review? Uh, about 3D printing. I know a yeah. lot about 3D printing, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but I also have some other topics. I have. Uh, well, just in case we run out of that, because it's only going to be a short period of time with 3D printing, unless you really want to get like, elaborate with it. All know? I know is I don't have my 3D glasses, that's all. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I left them home. <laughs> yeah, we need 3, 3D glasses to see 3D printing. So, do you want me to introduce that and we'll go right into it? And then... we, might as, we might as well go into it and then we'll, uh, you know, go into it and get right back out of yeah, it. Yeah, because, because, I mean, it's... the other two the other two things I got is I got a list of uh, a few few programs that I really like for utilities for Windows that I can't live without, that I think a lot of people could use if they just learn them, you know, and be be helpful with them. And then uh, I've got the thing on California, illegalizing businesses from asking for your uh, password for Facebook. Oh, so that's yeah. kind of nice. Yeah. Very good. Is so. it a scam or is it uh, actual? It's actual. Because a lot of the stuff scamming are they want passwords and they want this and that and the other. Well, well, and it comes down to a scam. Anyway, yeah. we'll discuss no, no, it later. Yeah, we will. Okay. Hi, buddy. Hey. hey going. Going. Yeah. Oh. Hey. I lost my There's 3D. There's Oscar. Oscar. I lost my 3D printer. Here it is. All right. Good. Well, I can uh, introduce it. I can start talking right. about it a little bit if you want. Well, I'm I'm bringing it up, so. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> well, you get that up. Yeah, that don't sound good, but anyway. <laughs> right. <laughs> Anyway, 3D printing, one of the... I know, get right in the... Boy, I got something that's humming. He had a few words. Just to say, right? Right, Right, exactly. He just wants to be with everybody. Yes. He is a good lover, Kitty. You know, what a good Kitty he is. He's a great mascot. So what we're going to do is we're going to 3D print Oscar someday. All right. Okay? So the whole point behind 3D printing or what happens with 3D printing is it's fairly new technology as far as uh, being available to the consumer. I got something and running across my face. I see that. I see that. It's like, whoop. Hey, look, there's a tail. Bye, us. Um, but, yeah, I mean, 3D printing basically is uh, recently released to the consumer to actually take, and you build a 3D model and make it in a program, whether it be Google SketchUp or a CAD program or some other program or whatever the case may be. And you can upload these CAD files to... This, you know, one of these 3D printing sites, like, uh, oh, I had it done, tipped my tongue, and I lost yeah. it. But anyway, there's several 3D printing sites. <laughs> they know my tongue. Right, <laughs> right. I materialize type deal? Uh, what's that? I materialize is one of the websites. Okay, so there you right. go. There's one. Uh, I'm, I'm, th- I'm trying to think of that one that I was going to use, but it was, uh, uh, it doesn't matter. There's a bunch of sites out there, really. And what this what this does is it gives you why who's over there? Hissy? Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Um, oh, buddy. Boy, so, that cat's causing more problems. I know. Tail and <laughs> forget technical in front of the difficult, Yeah, forget technical <laughs> difficulties. We're just having difficulties in general. But anyway, the 3D printing idea is basically you can send these CAD files in. You make up the uh, three-dimensional drawing of it and make it to size and so on and so forth. And then you basically then can have this 3D printer make it out of several different types of materials and several different types of colors. Can't really mix and match colors as in, uh, you know, as it draws it three-dimensionally. Yeah. You can have, like, your eyes blue and your, your bust. But you, you pick one color, like white or silver or whatever. And they can do this in high-impact plastic. They can do this in a soft plastic. And they can also do this in a plastic metal alloy mix, which I was quite in <laughs> the attack of the cat. Hi. Holy cow. Morning. We gotta, How are you? We're going to send you upstairs and lock you in a room or something here in a minute. But there, um, I was reading about Jay Leno. Yeah. You know, he has cars. Lots and lots of cars. How many cars has Jay Leno got? Call us and tell us. I'll call in and tell us at uh, 315-220-0692. That's not a segue at all, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, okay. He's just like... But anyway, uh, he has lots of cars and a lot of the obsolete parts. The kitty whisperer. So <laughs> right. when, when he needs to replace these parts, he skips the air-prone mechanic or machinist, whatever yeah. you want to call him. And goes to a rapid prototype 3D printer. Yeah. Simply scans and prints and repeats. Yeah. So he puts all this in and look at the money he saves. But if you got money like Jay Leno, you don't need to worry about it anyway. Right. Well, one of the big things that the 3D printers are really providing for a lot of people, like, uh, uh, well, like in the technology industry at least, uh, like saying the Raspberry Pi. Remember, we were talking about the Raspberry yeah. Pi, the, the little tiny computer that's only about the size of a credit card. Has everything on it? A one gigahertz processor, some uh, I think one gig of memory, and it, and, and it's got uh, storage is whatever you get for a uh, flash card or whatever. Now now look at an these, SD card. Now look at these new heart pumps they got. Not getting back to the heart, but these heart pumps they got. They don't done it on these three D printers, from what I read. Made right. these made these heart pumps so much smaller oh, yeah. than than what they are were originally you know right, they were they, big things yeah you know? because they were so right. they, because the 3d printer can get down to so many parts per per thousand so yeah. you know you can literally draw something in millimeters now 50, but fifty thousand points per second of density and 160 thousand dots of uh you know let yeah, me see where it is dots per inch yeah right so that's parts per thousand yeah. so uh you know, so really, by the end of the day, you can make a lot of different things. Like saying, if you break your, uh, like, I, I, if, if everybody looks at Snide, like I we broke really, my nose, like we really <laughs> wanted to look at Snide, right? right? No, but if you look at your headphones and, and yeah. like saying this piece up here breaks, you take the other one off and you you figure scan out the dimensions in. or scan it in if you got a scanner or scan something, right. and figure out the dimensions and draw it in your pro favorite program. You could actually go to the three D printer and have them make the actual part, right? And then put it back on, and, and away you go, you yeah. know. So because this is done in plastic, plastic and wire wire form uh, with uh, plastic injection. I don't know how they do it, but anyway, it's, it's not wire form. It's there's well, a, they, they said something about wire, if I remember here. Uh, you you can put uh, certain companies will put like certain types of wire forming in there for you. If they're building it, uh, but it's not something that goes directly in as a printer. Right. Well, I was I was reading it and that kind of stuck in my mind. Yeah. You know, maybe I mis misread it. But they do have another technology where they can do the plastic plus like a uh, small little. <laughs> Hi. Did Hi. it pull your ears off? He did. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. where, where's my kitty taser? <laughs> nah. Uh, no animals are kitty. But anyway, the wire podcast. form, the wire form and stuff to go into that. No, but JJ's ear was ripped off, <laughs> right? Well, we can three D print a new one for him. Yeah, there right. You go. <laughs> well, the big thing with the three D printer in my mind is, it's like going back to the Raspberry Pi. The Raspberry Pi does not come with a case; it's just a board, you know. So you can download case designs, then customize it in Google SketchUp, and then upload it, and then print your own case. Uh, saying you got something that you want to do, like I, uh, what, one thing that I really want to do, which is probably pretty scary. So it's going to be thirty nine ninety nine if anybody wants one. I'm going to try to build a three dimensional bust of myself. You know, kind of like the Beethoven. I'd He's going to make it out Legos too, I'd right? Give, <laughs> <laughs> I'd give him. I'd give him. Uh, 
you know, three dollars. <laughs> I kind of figured. <laughs> Not well, I, I might buy. I might build one for yeah. each of us and just have it here. There goes all your paperwork. <laughs> Oh my God! I'm gonna <laughs> kick his butt. Oh my God! What a this show! Is, Let's what revolve a show. around cats. Oh man! <laughs> Next week topic. Next week's topic is gonna Halloween, be I'm gonna Halloween find... declaw cat, right? <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take. We that, love Oscar. They're uh, deep I don't curiosity. Know if you can see it. I, I don't know if you can see it behind me, but you see the shelving behind me, right? Right. I'm going to get one of those child harnesses for Oscar, and then he just he'll be sitting <laughs> over there and boing. Yep, boing back. Yep. Yeah, who knocked us down? And well, it wasn't any of the kids around here. <laughs> right. Right. So, anyhow, but 3D right. printing is really interesting because you can do and make a lot of different things. And we're purchasing this when? What, the bus? <laughs> the 3D printer first. <laughs> uh, well, 3D printers range between I think I think they're 800, 899, and they go up to like four or five thousand, depending on how big of a no, model I was, you want. I was reading four thousand up. Oh no, I found a, I found a couple that were a little cheaper. They do basic. Well, it must be basic because these here were, I mean, talking well into uh, you know etch a sketch better than etch a sketch type right. things. It went right on in a lot more. Nice. So, so uh, but anyway, here, what you got? Uh, he paid twenty two hundred dollars for it. You know, I'm just saying, what's the, what's this one, a father? But I, I, like I said, I read all this whole article, and the next uh, next engine scanner cost uh, three thousand dollars, twenty nine ninety five, mm -hmm. and uh, Uprint personal three D printer is now under fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. That's what it says right here. Under right, the scanner is is uh, three. Three thousand dollars, and the printer is uh, fifteen thousand. So you're you're talking pretty close of, of twenty grand wrapped up with a computer and all that and a program, right? To right. do it, right? I mean, well, there's several ways to do it too. I mean, like I said, you can go to one of the online sites and upload your file, and and boop, there you go. Like uh, one of the programs I was looking at to try to make the bust of myself, uh, because uh, I think it was Maximum PC who had it on there was you can take uh, a picture from each side and a picture from the front and a picture from the back. It's like four pictures that you got to take and a picture from the top probably, I'm assuming. Didn't your mother get you a 3D bust in a puzzle? No, I did it. I did it in art class. Big shout out to, to Mrs. Patty's art, art seventh grade well, art remember, class. I remember that. Uh, uh, the bust of me. Bust of you sitting up on the top of the shelf of the thing and got all cobwebby and yep. I was throwing wads of paper at it and <laughs> to knock the dust off. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. I don't know where that went. You must have took it or it's still up there. One of the no, two. it fell off one time when we were moving books and stuff and it broke. But but anyway, I mean it's the same concept. But I mean I'm talking a small little bust of each of us. So I'll take a picture from. Oh no, we're gonna have bobbleheads, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right. It's gonna be like yeah. mini bobbleheads, but not bobbleheads. They're gonna no. be like you know, hey. And I just well. posted it on Facebook. Who wants a bust of Flipper? Let us know. Yeah. How about, Same way J How about JJ and and, and I'm gonna, Snide? I'm going to like that for right now. Anyway, <laughs> where, where did you post, post it? I just posted, I just posted it. You just posted it? Yeah, just posted it. Refresh. It'll, it'll come up. To, okay, we'll hit refresh and see what it does. Refresh. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> he did. So, so anyway, uh, 3D printing is uh, going to be around uh, for the near future, and yeah. uh, <coughs> right now sounds like a good investment. Well, it's it's coming along quite a ways, you know. So make a little cash roll on the side. What, well, with the 3D? You could. 3D uh, bust to him? Yeah, exactly. Well, how about a bobblehead? That would be good. <laughs> Set us all on earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Next thing we're going to have is we're going to have the, the three-dimensional we'll uh, flipper punching bag. Then we'll have to get the things and go, pew, pew, and we got ya. Or pop, pop. <laughs> Boy, this show degrades so fast. So fast. And it's all Oscar's fault. You know? Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's Oscar's not your fault. He's laying on your mail. That's all right. I know. He so wanted, anyway, we he just did wanted a bed. We did that on the on the uh, 3D. If you got any <clears throat> questions about it, give us a call at 315-220-0692. Right. Or email us or whatever. We'll we'll uh, respond to the questions, you know. Well, that's what we really are. We're supposed to be a, a computer talk show, technology talk show. Revolving around you. you yes. Yes. Give us a call, please. So, I'm having my yeah, morning save, chocolate milk. Thank you, yeah, save, You're welcome. Save Flipper. He he's needs to be saved. Get him a bowl of Cheerios. They're little lifesavers for him. So in case he gets one caught in his throat, he can still breathe. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. I don't even know where to go with that. Me either.
So anyhow, anyway, I got to go over to my regular, wherever I want with it. Here we go. You can go on with your subjects now. We've done that. Oh, well, that thank you. I'm pretty. glad I got your permission. And I'm going with uh, <laughs> uh, sci-fi so I can get some new stories there. In case oh, okay. Out. Well, I mean, I don't know. What do you want to do? I mean... You're the one that said, well, we'll go with a 3D printer and we'll do yeah, that. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, the really nice thing about the 3D printer, though, is this is this is where I, I think it's going to work really good, is it's going to provide a way that people, regular, everyday Joe Blows who are inventors or have ideas, could possibly prototype them in this 3D printer. So, like, saying if you have an idea for a part on a car... Uh, maybe instead of uh, maybe instead of the fuel injector making a, a left turn, maybe you want it to go straight and then then make a like a gentle bend. You're going to be able to make these parts in a 3D printer and modify about, your car. How about if this isn't the start of uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Oh, you mean beam, the, me, beam me up, Scotty? Oh, I suppose it would be. I mean, you know, I mean, I suppose it would be. I mean, it depends on how you look at it. I mean. You know, a 3D printer would be then basically doing what the transporter would do. But the whole point of the transporter was was to take molecules and move them. Well, it's like the the super collider particle, the yeah, particle yeah. super collider. You know, boom, and then they explode, and then they map them. Oh, hi, sorry. Um, now I want to see that done on a printer. That'd be pretty cool. Well, a <laughs> <laughs> well, 3D bust is getting close. You know, yeah, it's getting darn close. But, but no, the whole the whole theory behind a transporter is. I mean, they have some theories about how the transporter would work, and basically, it would be some type of demolecularization, a scanner. What might you say? Mm -hmm. You know, on one end that takes and maps out every single molecule, every single everything at that moment in time. Puts it into the computer or in the, into a buffer, shoots it via particle beam wherever it's got to go, okay, based on energy and whatever else. And then on the other end, reassembles it correctly so that you are who you are, you know. Well, just think if they miss a spot. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind if they missed my tummy a little bit. Jeez, I mean, I like to lose a few pounds. Right, 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 right. Yeah. <laughs> Race right here, good to go. <laughs> oh my God, look, flippers and midget all of a sudden. What happened? <laughs> No. You could build like your own six pick of abs and attach it to yourself. That's that's the problem. That would be with, nice, wouldn't it? That's the problem collar. with with Flip. He gets his hair shaved down and he's <coughs> two inches shorter. <laughs> <laughs> so, what's the next subject for you now that we got three D printing out of the way? Well, you you know me in politics. I got a you know, in laws and stuff that you know revolve around technology. I just really I really like to follow it because it really holds dear to my heart. You know, and I think we touched on this subject uh, a few shows ago. Yeah, I think it was episode 21 or 18 or something. We were talking about how employers uh, were asking for your Facebook password and Twitter password. Right. Should they or shouldn't they? And should they yeah. or shouldn't they? And, and what can they get and what, what information is really out there and what should the lawmakers be doing with it? Uh, and finally, uh, six months later, we now have California jumping on the... Stepping um, up to the plate. Yeah, they're stepping up to the plate. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. I've never never really thought California would step up to the plate on something like this, but they did. And California bans employers from demanding workers' Facebook passwords. So uh, they're really, you know, you know I'll, I'll quote, uh, oh, who was it? Uh, governor Jerry Brown, okay, is uh, California governor right now, right? Yeah. Am I yep. correct? Yep. Okay. I don't yeah, believe it's Arnie I'll anymore. Be, I'll, I'll be back. Uh, I'll Houston. be here later. <laughs> I'll be here later. <laughs> so I'll cross you with my massive packs. Anyway, yeah. Governor Jerry Brown. Uh, <laughs> oh, <we're> funny. <laughs> anyway, Sorry. he's quoted saying, California pioneered the social media revolution. <laughs> These laws protect Californians from un unwarranted invasions of their social media accounts. And that was his quote, and I highly agree with him. And then down yeah. a little bit later... And I think the right to free speech on top of it. Well, I'm not even going to go with the free speech thing. I, I, I believe in that. I think that mm -hmm. social media or anything that you're doing out, uh, you have a right to free speech to uh, a certain degree. Right. You know, there's there's always that, that line that can be crossed, which is libel, slander, you know, so on and so forth, that could be then illegal you know and that's where a lot of people mix up the freedom of speech piece versus you know something that's actually illegal right hi there goes the show again hi Oscar. but uh you, wanna, you, you, you turn around with that freedom of speech you know 
Big A. Uh, when you got facts to back up your freedom of speech, you had the right to speak up. You know, you're saying slander. You know what I mean? It's, slander is something that's fabricated, not not factual. Right. So factual, right. you know what I mean? How can you slander somebody with facts? Well, but that's the problem. Most people nowadays don't believe in real facts. They don't get the real facts. Right. I mean, we've research, discussed this many research, times. Research, research, right. right, and get the real numbers, not this garbage of oh, by the way, you know, this uh, guy, this guy printed this, and that guy yeah. printed that, but the real numbers are right. So, um, I mean, I agree with you, but you know, the problem here though is, is that probably fifty, sixty, seventy, whatever the percentage is, I don't even know what the percentage might be. You know, don't really look at the real numbers, uh, like this issue. Most people said, well, the only people that are really complaining are the people that uh, are, are heavy liberal or heavy, you know, heavy want their own their own nation, you know, like the Indian nations I and stuff. I want to put my name on something. I guess, whatever, like, if you want to say well, that. It's like, like I said, you know, I, all these kids coming out of college got to put their name on something and they do all these researches or do these researches, which, you know, a lot of the stuff yeah, is... Sorry. You know, slanderous or liable, oh, right, 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 not true. You. And they say, well, we've done this research, and this is what it's c coming to, which it isn't. Right. So, so back to the this whole thing here with this is, you know, I still think that if you go out, it was kind of like it was kind of like one of our close friends that will remain nameless, who's a big guy who likes his uh, girls and my age and big scraggly guy. <laughs> I'm trying not to say his name, but you know who I'm talking about, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So anyhow, okay. So <laughs> you're you're gonna remain. <laughs> yeah. So anyhow, he you know he, well he's big he's big in making you know yeah. different comments and just reposting whatever he hears wherever sometimes you know. Well, one time he posted something completely false and falsified. That could, that could be dangerous. That could be very dangerous. And the whole thing comes down to, and this is where, where I think this is one of those pieces, if your employer has access to your Facebook account. Or email account. or Right. And you're on there kidding and joking around with some friends or something or whatever the case may be. And he gets or, in there and sees it. All right. Gets in and sees it and then fires you. Okay. That's, that's just totally wrong. I, I don't care who you are. That's totally wrong. Uh, that's like saying you got to have a webcam on you and a recording device so they can review everything you say, do, and whatever throughout the entire day. Right. That's wrong. Okay. So the other piece of this law that made a lot, lot of sense as well, uh, which is where I'm going to try to segue into my other comment. Um, uh, when you, in fact, open up your social media account, all kinds of personal information may be there. But information that, by law, no employer can, in fact, get your religious, sexual orientation, or other kinds of personal and infor private information about uh, all. Uh, thanks, Ask. Hang on, I got to move the cat so I can read. Uh, <laughs> where was I? Oh crud! I lost where I was. Hey, look, that's great. Um, Sexual orientation or other kinds of personal private information are out of bounds by both state law and federal law. Uh, so it's not just simply about getting information. There are confidential protected information that employers will be getting, getting and that is wrong. Right. So that's the basis of this whole law. And I think really that's, that's one of the biggest, uh, biggest proponents that I think is, is why I was trying to say, hey, listen, employers shouldn't have the rights to your... Facebook, LinkedIn, and so on and so forth. What gets me is is they uh, find something out like that and automatically fire you. And then there's a lot of people, which here we go in politics again, do all this stuff illegally and do the, uh, wrong by doing things wrong, and they stand up there and tell you, no, we didn't do it, no, we didn't do it. And then six months later or even three months later, you find out they did do it. Mm-hmm. And they, they don't get fired, reprimanded, or anything for it. No punishment is handed out, period. What happens when I say I'm just venting? I'm just trying to get things well, off my chest. Yeah, I just want to... I want to vent. Just want to vent. Well, well I, would I know somebody that wants to vent, too. He comes around, you know... <laughs> yeah, I know. Then I, I in understand that. Then I get in trouble at work for it. Well, he vents it to me. How do I... I don't right. go back and tell No, but I mean, if you did it on Facebook, and your employer has access to your Facebook, and... Or somebody brings it to their attention. Right. So, yeah. Should I, I be mean, disciplined for just, you know, 
venting. venting. I mean, as long as you're not, as long as you're not doing something illegal like slander, you're, you're like saying, like saying, I, it, it, here's where slander comes in, and I think this is where that freedom of speech thing gets really. Right. It's black and white, but people want to make it as gray as possible because they don't want to get in trouble for it. Okay, if you do something against me at work, okay, and I go out on my Facebook and I don't name your names, I'm just like, you know what, I can't believe some of the people at work, you know, blah, 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 and I just go off, okay? You're venting. You're venting, okay? I sit down and I go, you know something? That JJ guy, he is a uh, no good. Beep, 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 beep. Whatever. Right. And, you know, and he's uh, embezzling. I've already said that somewhere. Here, let me <laughs> he's, repeat. He's already, <laughs> you know, he's embezzling money. And I, yeah. I say all his junk about him. Embezzling that, money, that, that, that might That might be considered uh, a negative of- connotation that could or could not be truthful. Okay. Well, all of a sudden, you go and you research it, and you go after this person for being slander. You go after me for being right. slanderous because now I've I've defamed your character. But I've, I've only posted it to my Facebook, where only my friends should be able to see it. Right. Yeah, but our friends are got other friends. That right. Can see so there's it all where called. the problem comes in. That's why anybody right. on Facebook, Third if you're party and fourth party, if you're venting, right. it's just like it's just like the girls out there. I mean, I have a lot of friends from high school and everything else. Some of those girls out there. That you know have ex boyfriends or ex husbands, and they're out there saying how bad these people are, and and so on and so forth. They're drug dealers, they're this, this they're that, that, and they name them by name. That's where the point comes in. It's not right. that my ex boyfriend was, bleh. it's you know uh, Flipper was, bleh. It was bleh. well, it was like like back here years ago. Well, well, it still is uh, uh, in the workplace. You know, uh, uh, third party. <laughs> Over sexual here, harassment. Sexual harassment. Which is, which, also, is, which is also now third party workforce. workforce third and plus. fourth party. And also yeah. fifth party. You know, yeah, it goes on and on and fifth, on. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I'm but so I'm sorry. But I'm just saying, this is the kind of crap that goes on in the right. workplace. Right. I can if understand. This, this party over here heard it. Overheard him saying something to me, you know what I mean? That's well, I think the point of that law or part, point of that piece of that law is the same concept with, with this whole Facebook thing. If... If I oh really oh yeah, we're, crud we're late yeah, well, we're we'll go two more minutes we'll go two more minutes and we'll go on at twelve thirty anybody got right. any questions out there I'm up on the uh, live stream chat right now so yeah you can, we're on the phone number too you know, yeah we got the phone number three one five two two zero zero six nine two I got the Facebook up so if you want yeah. to ask a question there so we're we're doing everything here we want we want your input we want you guys to call we want interaction we want to talk about what you want to talk about but, you like Facebook you like this law. You want to talk about that? Give us a call. Well, when we come back on the other side of break, we'll we'll finish that subject up about you know this third party sexual harassment well, stuff. Well, I, you know. I think I can finish. Well, actually, I can at least give somebody to chew you to chew on something. Okay, the reason why it's second party, why you have up to second party in my mind, okay, is the fact that if you're sexually harassing JJ and I watch it, okay, I have a way to. And, and JJ has a way to not do it himself. You know, it's basically that third party now has the power to say, "Oh my God, I just watched Snyder go up and grab JJ right by the poos." The whole thing of it is, is JJ, if he didn't like what I did, should be telling me at the first. And if I don't stop it, then it can become. I you know I agree. I agree with that. This is what's happening is in the workplace is that it's not confronted to the person that's doing it. It's gone around, and, and right. all of a sudden it comes back from the supervisor down to the person that said it. And so, Which is the same problem with this. this And common sense should take a place here a little bit, too. Right. You should right. just do it. <laughs> right. I mean, yeah. Okay. So, and if it's unwarranted and somebody says stop, you better stop. I mean, in a story. Right. But don't, if that other person now takes it further and further and further, and you're like, okay, I'm stopped. I, I, I don't want nothing to do with you. It's all good. You know, it's break time. Okay, break time. great. <laughs> Uh, like I said. Finish. Oh, my God, I'm so upset now. No. <laughs> anyway, you're listening to Tech Talk Live. I'm Flipper. I'm Snyder. And I'm JJ. I love how you do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll be back after these brief commercial oh, messages. Oh, better be a flipper. <laughs> <laughs>
www.fingerlakes1.com. You're listening to Free Music by Dano. Download free MP3s at danosongs.com. Flipper. I'm Snide. <laughs> I'm JJ. <laughs> I love it. I, that's sexual harassment. You shouldn't we're, be allowed to say that. We're, <laughs> we're such retards. I love it. This is great. Anyway, uh, so we're Tech Talk Live. We're yeah, a, what do you mean, retard? I don't know. I'm tired I, anyway. I know, right? <laughs> Anyhow, no, that's retired, isn't it? Retired. <laughs> I, I'm retired. R Y T I E R D. And he's back. And he's yeah, yeah, Oscar's Oscar's back. Oscar's sitting right here. <laughs> he's just waiting to get back up here. We are a technology talk show that revolves around you people. Absolutely. And your computer yeah. questions. Right. Or technology. So, you know, yeah. whatever we're talking about. We'd like your comment on it. Yeah. Give us a call at 315-220-0692. Between the hours of? 11 and 12 Eastern Time, Saturday mornings. Right on. Or you can reach out to us at email. At Tech Talk Live and why at gmail.com as well. And, and yeah, that can come in anytime and we can try to answer your question during the week. And shout out us on Facebook too. And if you don't like us there, you can like us on Facebook. You, if you don't like us there, tweet us. <laughs> tweet us? I you know, I haven't gotten Twitter to work quite right yet. I, I can post everything out. I can't seem to get anything yeah. back. So 
Nobody's posted anything. So you have somebody reply back to us first. <laughs> Probably. So, so anyway, we're getting back to what now? Okay, so the, the original topic was uh, California. California bans or makes it illegal for employers to demand workers' Facebook passwords. And that was a topic. And, you know, we kind of took it full circle into some other other pieces of this. Threw and, other things in. Yeah, and, and I'm totally in agreement with the idea that employers really shouldn't have rights to your personal... I mean, it, it would like I said, it would be like giving them your Facebook password would be like giving... Are you using Facebook or any of that stuff uh, at your job site desk? Well, that would be the question. I mean, like yeah. like uh, our day employer, my day employer, and my day employer, and my nighttime. <coughs> <hour. laughs> Is that, okay? Don't allow don't allow access to that that site for personal use per se. And we're back. And we're back. Look at him. He is just like I want lovings down. He wants, I, he but wants it depends it. on depends on whether I crack your code or not. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. I suppose that's true. But the point is, is that. You know, if it's not allowed by the employer, then, you know, how can the employer have... Bubblehead. <laughs> yeah, but what if I'm out on break on my cell phone, on my smartphone? And you're smarting things? And I'm smarting things on the Facebook. Right. Through my smartphone. Well, technically, I mean, well, I suppose it would depend on whether it's a paid break or a non-paid break. My right. time, well, right? That's well, I suppose. I suppose if you look at it that way, but it depends on what employer it is. Depends right. on whether it's it, it's it's it, you know that fifteen minutes is paid break. Is it paid, it paid break? If if it's your actual time, or they're just saying you have time to go to the bathroom, you know, right? I mean, I get fifteen minutes. What do I get to do with my fifteen well, minutes? Right? Can they deny you any time to go to the bathroom? No, not really. Not really. Not unless they want to puddle and have to clean it up. <laughs> well, not only that, but it's I the smell you. when accidents happen. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, to, so bringing this back to the thing, I think really what it comes down to is I don't think anywhere, anywhere, anyhow, any, you know, if this is a personal communication tool, if this is a personal communication tool, uh, so that say we can talk, right? And right. and we're all family per se, right? So you talk to me, I talk to JJ, JJ talks to you, and we're all having having problems at work, okay? And we just vent to each other on there. Now all of a sudden JJ's work has access to his Facebook. Now you can say my post for my work and your post for your work. Find out whether you're gay or not, and whether you're uh, sexually harassing some girl at work, and then. I mean, it turns into a mess. What do you mean, gay? I just got released by the doctors and I could chase women. <laughs> wow. Um, it was just for example. It really yeah, was. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Okay. So, back. Back, back to you chasing uh, JJ. All right. Here I back, come, JJ. Back, <laughs> back to you, Help Walter me, Cronkite. <laughs> Anyhow. Help. Crank right. <laughs> right. So I, I guess the thing I guess the thing comes down to is is where where does where does things stop? And I think California finally drew the line in the sand where it's supposed to stop. Actually, right. maybe we can get an employer to call us. Yeah, from oh, well, that'd be great. Yeah, that would let be us nice. know their feelings. Oh my next, next week on the show if it gets out to California. Right. Absolutely. That would be wonderful. I would right. love or to get anybody somebody local on. or anybody local give us a call. Heck, yeah. I'd love what to get Jerry I'd love to get Jerry Brown on. Yeah, me too. I would Jerry be all Brown. right. <laughs> That would be great. I think that'd be fun. I'd, it'd be a fun discussion to see where they end up. Uh, I, I really, like I said, and, and we were talking about you know the whole sexual harassment thing and third party, right. fourth party, blah, blah blah blah. You know, I think up to second party is okay. Anything past that, it gets kind of weird. Well, it gets gets touch and go, but it's well, like very it's touch and go. It, it was third party that happened to me. I know. Wasn't that a good joke? Yeah, it was. Didn't even get it? I got it. <laughs> Third party. Third, third party. It's touch it's and go. It's my party, and I'll cry if I want to. Yeah. So I really would urge I would urge all states in the union or the federal government to come up with a law like this, banning that kind of, no, you know. No, it shouldn't be up to the federal. It should be the, the state individually, but they should all mold it around the one. Why wouldn't it be a federal? Why wouldn't you think it would be a federal? Here we go. We've got to make more federal laws, federal laws. Wait no, a no, minute. No, 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 what no, no. Back hell? up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Okay. I understand your concept of why you don't think it should be a federal law. We don't Where, we have enough federal laws. You know, New York State's got their own home rule state law. Yeah, They're just going to come up with their own. No well, I understand what, so. that. I, they would come up with their own, but I'm just home saying. Rules. 
this would be one of those things that I think. Uh, see, now this is where I'm thinking this is going in. Okay, if this is something that should be, depending on how how what your scope is. Here's what I'm thinking: if your scope is to have this type of regulation across all employers, like the federal minimum wage, <coughs> as yeah. nothing to add that in and say, okay, employers are not allowed to get your Facebook password. Okay, with the with the minimum wage, right? <laughs> it makes it easier. That way, the states don't have to go through all the rigmarole doing that. But of course, then you know you would have states like New York who think that they're all high and mighty. Right. Yeah, and they, they write laws that supersede the laws of the federal government, and what good is that? Right. So you know, this is the this is the way the things are written. Right. Is the law of state if uh, state law says if it supersedes and it's better for, then the states can re- write a law right. that supersedes that. Federal law. Right, absolutely. So most of the basic laws in the federal government are drawn on a... General level. General, generalization level. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of gray areas, true. Right. But but this is really a really nice generalization. <clears throat> you shouldn't have as an employer access to pers- people's personal information, right. whether it's on Facebook, MySpace, any type of social or media. Or at home or anywhere else. I mean, what would it stop them if they come up with a, a health portal? What if they come up with a health portal? What would then stop any of these businesses, health insurance, and, and, and employers <laughs> from asking for your password for your health portal in- information? Now. Well, oh, geez, you know, Flipper's got some type of weird growth on his leg. Oh, we got to fire him before he costs us yeah. too much money. Oh, right. Dropped that his was, insurance policy. That was a wart, wasn't it? It fell off your nose and come yeah, off your did. leg. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh. oh, my God. Somebody save me. Call us. Just call us. Get us on a different topic. Anyway. Uh, well, I got I'll one here. On an, I'll get it on a different topic. Uh, how about AI? AI for gamers. AI. Yeah, AI for gamers. The artificial gamer bots. Inte- and, and artificial intelligence, okay? All right. All right. Go ahead. The gamer, the gamer bots convince judges they are more human than humans. Huh? I don't Explain. believe that. Uh, the first ever winners in the bot prize, a contest designed uh, or to design a gamer bot that can fool opponents into thinking it's a human player. Really? Yeah, I can uh, go on with more with it, but I just I just I, thought I would was, like I would like to play a game against that that AI and, and see. Well, if it's it really says human. read the full story, and I gotta click on it and read the full story, right? Well, isn't that like the chess computer? Would it be the same, same same lines, thought right? process? Yeah, but you, think? you know, but like with the chess simulators, the AI for the chess simulators were uh, it was it was a uh, here's all the possible moves. I mean, they basically figured out a database for all the possible moves. And it said, well, these are common moves for level one, these are common moves for level two, and this is common level moves for a master. Okay, so as you as a human, what? Go ahead. As you as a human, uh, you know, would play the chess game, you played on zero or one, and it'd be pretty easy to beat because, you know, it was the same level. As you got better, then you went to level two. It wasn't dynamic AI like what I think Snide's getting at is that, they're actually putting in algorithms to try to adaptively overcome overcome the I'm a computer, I'm better than you thought process. The game bots were right. video gamed characters controlled by artificial intelligent algorithms. Or <laughs> algorithms. Algorithms. Algor. Algor. <laughs> you know, that, I was waiting for Al Gore to come up with, you know, hey, I made that. Yeah. You know. Right. But I'm just saying here. That's what you were saying, and I just read the yeah. the article here on a on a one liner. So um, you know they're they're doing that. So uh, well, I know that they've put some things in recently into some of the more recent games like Modern Warfare Three, and um, I guess Black Ops Two is coming out soon. Uh, and Black Ops Two is supposed to have some of this more human AI. Where they they make mistakes, but you know they have they have more of a a brain thought process. Like like one of the biggest complaints that we have about like Modern Warfare Three is the computer on veteran has no no concern about their life or or, or their character on on screen, and they just charge in and they'll kill you. You know before you even get a chance. You know, uh, and if it's like you know five of computer guys against you know you. You know, all of a sudden you're swamped, and you got to be like Superman in order to get through it. Right. Well, it's like this artificial intelligence about the uh, arm that was put on this guy that, that lost his hand down there in uh, Florida or wherever it was with yeah, the alligator. We yeah, we did that in like episode 18 or something, I think. And 
like I said, the AI in that, he can be gentle enough to pick up a styrofoam cup. Without crushing it. Without crushing it, because it's reading whatever is in his, his arm. Yep. So that would make it artificial intelligence, right? That's reading something here. I was supposed which to is controlling censored, the, yeah. yeah. But he's also got enough power that he could crush, you know, <laughs> something like a, a a good strong cup. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Crush it like it's nothing. Right. So. Well, that's the scary part about bionics. But back to the AI <laughs> thing. Right. Back to the AI thing. I think is really what what's coming down down the pike with this, and and where it's really hitting home is that the computers now think are starting to think more human wise. They're, you know, and are they and, throwing a little emotion in it? Is that what you're trying yeah. to say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're starting to get they're starting to get algorithms that actually make it so like the computers actually have cons- like saying if you're playing Modern Warfare Three, it's a yeah. shoot 'em up, right? They have concerns oh, yeah. like uh, Ernie Schwar- Schwarzenegger in a Terminator. This eye works as a human, and this eye works as a a red light, whatever it is, camera. <laughs> yeah, no, he I, was he was no all robot. cyborg, dude. I'm just, <laughs> He's a cyborg, right? right. <laughs> but but my point is is like you know I think a lot of people are. <clears throat> Getting the fear factor in this is that you know the AI is getting smart enough to put the emotion in. Right. Uh, what happens when you start having cyborgs that can actually fool humans into thinking they're human? Well, it was like uh, what was it, Osmo or whatever could uh, only walk on the floor. Now all of a sudden, now he can climb the stairs and go down the stairs yeah. and all this other with uh, robotic a, guy, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. right. Osmos or whatever his name I was. I can't remember. Was that one well, from Japan or something? Yeah. 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 And, but, and the artificial intelligence in that, you know, to right. be able to keep his balance going down the stairs. Right. Or even so, up them, you know. So I think that's really the, the question is, is uh, you know, is it a fear factor for people? Sure, I, I'd, I, I'd be fearful. But at the same time, I mean, I'd probably be pretty excited about it because uh, we'd be able to have uh, amazing, intelligent doctors and amazing, amazing intelligent uh, engineers, and it's going to be programs that's going to benefit the human population. Yeah, really. at, at some point, yes. Right, right. now I got to. But I it could make, also be detrimental. That's the other, it the other would, problem. Would be right. Now, exactly. now I got to make the shout out to Donna, Fred. Watch out, we're getting artificial intelligence for you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's we probably love our shout outs. You know, there there probably isn't isn't that far off as. The fact that we'd be able to reprogram our brains, uh, uh, you some know, people would like to reprogram some well, people's brains. Well, think about like it. You and mine. Look well, at the stem cell <laughs> research are doing. That might be possible down the, down the road. Really. Right. Well, actually, I'm thinking more of the sensors. They got those brain scanners, so they can see what what you're kind of get. They can get some imagery. Oh, here we go back with the, the privacy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the privacy thing. Yeah, I'm, I'm right. big on that. So. But I'm just saying they were they were doing this thing where they put some pads all over your you know uh, electro sensitive mm-hmm. pads all over your head, and then you think of something and you keep trying to draw this image in your mind and it'll mind map up on screen an image, but it's oh, not God. quite the image you were thinking of. But oh, it, it draws God. like color. <laughs> yeah, so you right. see Whoops. where are we going with this, right? Then we're gonna three D print it. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, on top yeah, of three D print it. <laughs> After oh. we master our, <laughs> oh, no. our imagery. Oh, my God, you save no. and have it printed. Oh, my God, no. I can, but I, but I, I I can th- just see what Snide would be, be <laughs> imaging. Oh, my God, Snide, what is that? Well, I, I was thinking about oh, glasses, was, but they turned into headlights. I was thinking about 21-year-old, but it ended up to be Grandma being 80. <laughs> He went there. And if he's thinking about that, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, AI, AI, artificial intelligence, it's getting to be something else. And, and Give us a call, 315-220-0692. Whether it's, whether it's the advancement of the uh, uh, education today or is it the advancement of uh, computerized technology or, or technology as we know it today? What do you mean? Why we're getting AI and stuff? AI and stuff, you know? I think we just got the graduates are coming up. They're learning more and more every day with the new intelligence, and then they're applying something else to it, and right. it's getting better. Well, I, maybe not necessarily you all know. the students, because I mean, I've seen not some all of the students. students but I'm just yeah, saying. I know. Some of the smart ones, holy cow, right. yes. Uh, well, it's, it's like heating and cooling, it's just like HVAC. It applies, to the, it applies to education as well. Okay, if you continue to build on the building blocks and, and continue to push a little harder, okay? Right. Which I know this, you're you're going to be mad when I say this. You know, it's a liberal thought process. Uh, you know, education, education, education. 
but it's it's HVAC. So like in your car, you take the current air that's in there and you can you can you cool it. Then it comes out a little cooler. Then it goes and recycles and you cool that cool air a little cooler. So eventually you have a frosty car, right? It's nice and or air conditioned. You're an ice cube. Right, or you're an ice cube, okay? <laughs> so Education works kind of the same way. If we already figured out this stuff and it's working, right. this building block, and all of a sudden now we teach that building block at a younger age. Now we're going to re- reapply some, some new technology, technology and people are getting innovative with it. Correct. Oh, now we're we're building on that HVAC. Now we got another block. Right. Now go Built. back and take this block and reteach it to these people right. coming up. And it goes. And hence we have Facebook. No, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's true. That's true. It's true. Um, I don't know. A couple. Of, I was just going to read a couple of uh, uh, apps that I can't live without because I really think a lot of people really could use these for their Windows yeah. PCs. Uh, a few of the apps that I was looking at, and they're, most of them are free. Uh, the ARS Clip 3.1.3 is free. You can go get it from downloads.com or check out PC Mag. They have it right on their site. Uh, it's a free utility that is powerful, and it, it extends your clipboard so that you can store multiple cuts or copies from your computer. So, like, you know how you copy and paste something from here to there or your your photos or whatever? Right. Saying you need to uh, copy and paste this photo into several emails. You can use this ARS clip, and it will store multiple uh, clipboard items in there, and you can retrieve those at any time. So that's a really neat program. Of course, a da- uh, 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 Audacity, which is what we use to record the audio for the show. Right. Who has the audacity? Who have, we do. <laughs> we Very do, good. baby. Tech Talk right. Live right here. We got the audacity. Give me a little love, brother. Woo-hoo. Knuckles. Yeah, knuckles. Yeah. Anyway, uh, and then Auto Runs 9 is a really neat program, too. Auto Runs 9 reveals every single program and process that launches automatically on your computer. It's especially useful for detecting malware and any malicious software. Uh, so that's really neat. Very nice. Uh, and I got two more that I was really hot on. And if I can <laughs> flip the page here, evidently. Flip I the page, flip. Flip the page, flip. There we go, right. flipping the page. Uh, let's see, where is it? Uh, Process Explorer from Microsoft. It was a individually designed program from Microsoft that now has just been a freeware utility. Process Explorer takes Task Manager and, and beefs it up on steroids. You can actually take this little uh, target icon, click on it, it's a tool, and then you just click or cover whatever you think is running weird, and it'll show you all the processes in Task Manager, what the, what are running that controls that, that thing on screen. So that's really neat for finding something that's sucking a lot of CPU usage or whatever, nice. and you're like, oh, my computer's running so damn slow, right, Snide? Well, a lot of times it comes up and it says your CPU usage is real high. I get a little right, right icon. I got a right corner. Right. And then the last one, but not the least one. Well, actually, the last two, because I really wanted to do this one for Ron, too. Um, Ronnie, uh, Facebook doesn't said he wanted to know how to hack computers and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, kind of funny thing. He's always kidding and joking around. I love him. He's great. Well, wait until I start hacking his computer. I You'll know, find right? out, right? <laughs> You got to find him first. I don't think it's existent anymore. He 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 doesn't hide behind cloud. Oh, he doesn't. Okay, <laughs> no, he doesn't. or in the clouds, right? In Which the one clouds, is it? whatever. I think he. <laughs> some days I think he is in the clouds because I, I think it's great. He comes up with some of the wildest concepts. It's great. Uh, anyway, uh, VLC Media Player. We use that here for the studio to replay our video files so we can see it, see how the quality is. It's a free one, and you can do everything from playing most video and audio formats, as well as you can record and stream audio and video. What? Well, I just thought maybe you wanted this here to <laughs> replay it that Halloween or something. <laughs> That's scary. Maybe I'll take a picture of that and then we'll put it up on the Facebook. <laughs> right. All right. And then just for Ronnie, one of the biggest uh, and free uh, packet sniffers, basically, is called Wireshark 1.2.6. And it's a wonderfully free but very complex packet sniffer for your network. So if you're thinking something's going on on your network... You can go check out and see what the packets look like. Nice. Something stinks in here. Yeah. <laughs> and since it's about 11.56, uh, just one quick note that uh, my little poster on Facebook about who wants to bust a flipper. Yeah. So far we got 19 people who viewed it, and only one wants a yeah. bust so far. Who, who so wants a bust? Aaron. Aaron. Aaron E. from Waterloo. 
Ah, yes. <laughs> Good. I might make that one for free for her. Though. Actually, she liked it anyway. 3D. So. I see you're bus. 1 in 19, so. But I'm, I'm saying we could. I think, I think we should do a 3D bust of all three of us I, you I know, think, and make think, them bobbleheads. I think we're going to get bobbleheads. Like uh, the three, <laughs> uh, what is it, the Pep Boys? Oh, there, right, yeah. There you go. Bobbleheads. There you anyway, go. Anyway, you've been listening and watching been listening and watching Tech Talk Live. On FingerLakes1.tv. Check and us out next week. 315-220-0692. And next week is going to be about what? I have no idea. Oh, neither do I. <laughs> How about you, JJ? Well, check it out on Facebook, and uh, we'll throw our topics up there. Absolutely. Days, hopefully. So we're on every Saturday morning, 11 to 12. Uh, did we already do the out? Yeah, I'm Flipper. You're Snide. You no, we didn't. We didn't. No, oh, I don't yeah, think we did that. All right, I'm Flipper. I'm Snide. And I'm JJ. <laughs> and we're out of here. See you next week. <laughs> Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>